Okay, welcome back guys. We have a question from chapter 4 of Beer and Johnson textbook and we have a 3200 pounds forklift truck that is used to lift the 1700 cray. We need to determine the reaction in each of the two A front wheels at point A and part B we need to find the uh, reaction of the two wheels uh, on the back at point B. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram. Uh, let's show all the forces that we have. So since we have two wheels at the front and two wheels in the back, uh, we're going to show the force in each wheel in the front wheels 2A and 2 stands for the two wheels that we have at the front and we'll do the same thing for the wheels in the back 2B uh, so we obviously have the weight of the the lift truck and we also have the weight of the crate at point G. Uh, we have all the distances in the question. And since we are in equilibrium, we can do our equilibrium equations, which we have the sum of all forces equals zero and we have sum of all the moments about any points. Uh, should be zero too. So let's start with the part A where we need to find the reaction at each wheel uh, of front wheels. So since we are interested in A and we're going to start with our moment equation since we can uh, simply eliminate one of the unknowns. So if we do the moment about point B counterclockwise positive as always we can cancel out the moment of the force b at point b so we'll end up uh, with only one unknown which would be the force at front wheel so let's start we're going to use the 2d shortcut that we have i'm going to put the link in the description below if you guys didn't get a chance to have a look at that video so basically we are using force in y direction and the vertical distance from the point that we are finding the moment about which in this case is point b to the line of action of the force uh, so let's start with the moment of the crate first so as we can see the moment of the weight is going to make a counterclockwise moment so will be a positive moment so we have the weight of the crate which is 1700 pounds and the distance would be so this will be the line of action and what we are interested in is this distance, which is 16 plus 24 plus 12, which will be 52 inches. And we have this time the moment of the 2A. And as we can see, this moment is clockwise. So we have a negative sign. 2A is our force and the distance will be 12 plus 24, which will be 36. And the last force is the weight of the truck, same direction of the same direction as the crate. So it's going to be a counterclockwise moment. So positive, and we know the weight is thirty-two hundred pounds, and the distance will be the twelve equals zero. There is only one unknown in this, and that would be our a. And from here we can find a, which will be seventeen sixty-one point eleven pounds. And this will be the direction. So since we didn't get any negative sign for A at the end, that shows that our direction upward for A is correct, which is going to make sense too, because that's the normal force that is applying to the wheel. So that was the A part of the question. Let's move on to B. We can do the same thing if we go with the moment about point A. We can cancel out uh, the unknown A or the other way is going with the sum of all forces in y direction. Each of these two work. Well, let's go with the sum of all forces in y direction. And this will be our positive direction for y. And if we do that, we have 2a plus 2b minus the two weights that we have, including the weight of the crate and the weight of the lift truck. That would be equal to zero. We already found A from the previous part. 
so it will be 2 times 1761.11 and the rest of this will be the same and from here we can find the unknown B which will be 688.89 and the direction will be upward again no negative sign that shows the assumption that we have at the first place for B was correct and all the reactions are upward and that would be the final answer for this question just make sure to share this content with your friend it's going to help me to reach out to more students and for those who need help with their homework assignment or understanding of this course uh, i would be really appreciated you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.